In this video, I'm going to show you a lightweight and free SEO plugin that will help your site rank higher in the SERPs or search engine results page. Now, my name is Paul C and I've been working with websites for many years. One thing I always enforce is the consistency when it comes to search engine optimization. Well, a lot of people think SEO is all about buying links or paying for expensive SEO packages, but there are plenty of ways to get good rankings on Google without spending any money at all. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use a lightweight and free SEO plugin that will help your site rank higher in the SERPs while being relatively simple to set up. Now, once you've installed Slim SEO, you may have a little pop-up like this inside your dashboard when you log in and take a look for the first time. Now, don't be overwhelmed by this. All it really means is that if you are using an RSS feed, and this is just something that can be really useful with a WordPress website to share your posts on other sites automatically, it might tell you that you are showing full text. And all you need to do to fix this is click on the Fix This link, and then simply come down and set this to be excerpt and save your changes. Nothing more to worry about. So with that side of things dealt with, what do we have with Slim SEO. Well, underneath the settings section, we now have a new entry for Slim SEO. And if we select that, it'll open up the options for us. Now, this is broken down into five key sections. The first one is the features, and this is the list of options that are enabled by default. Now, if you don't know what any of these options do, there's a little help icon to the right-hand side of the name of it that'll tell you basically what it does. Now, for most use cases and most users that are not power users or simply want the SEO to just do its job and get out of the way, you could basically leave all of these enabled if you wanted to. However, for example, if you're using a theme like Bloxy or Cadence themes, you find that they have breadcrumbs as part of the theme itself. You could, if you wanted to, disable that inside you, depending upon the kind of theme that you're using, so you don't end up with double breadcrumbs. So all you need to do is just enable or disable anything you want inside you, and that will then be taken out of your SEO efforts. Next up, you've got the code section. And this is where you can insert things like your Google Analytics code, Facebook pixel codes, those kinds of things, if you need to put them into the header, the body code, or the footer code. You can simply drop the relevant information inside there quick and easy and replaces the need for something like a code snippets plugin just to drop in your tag manager, your analytics, and those kinds of things. Then you've got your homepage tab. And this is where you set up the basic SEO for your homepage, and that's applied then to your homepage. So you can see we've got the title. We can drop in a description. We can also pop in a Facebook image and a Twitter image and select those and use those then. So anytime someone shares your homepage anyway on the social media, then you'll have a Facebook default image for it and the same for Twitter. So I'd recommend creating something that kind of encapsulates what your website is all about. And obviously, insert the meta description and the title that makes sense for your actual site. Next up, we've got your social options. And this is your default social media options for Facebook and Twitter. So again, you can drop those in there. And the only difference between this and the homepage option is that the social one inside here applies to all the pages, posts, custom post types, and everything else. Everything bar your homepage. You've also got your social media analytics. So if you were tracking things with a Facebook uh, pixel or you use a Twitter option, then you can drop in the app ID or the Twitter site name inside here as well. So you can start tracking your website through Slim SEO. And finally, we have the tools option. And this is where you can import, if you've been previously using another kind of SEO plugin like Yoast SEO, and you wanted to migrate over to Slim SEO, then you can just choose which one you currently have set up then migrate all your settings over. And currently, we've only got Yoast SEO all-in-one, the SEO framework and Rank Math. SEO Press is the one that is missing for me, so I would like to see that added in the future. But once you've done that, you simply hit Migrate, and that will import everything in. And that's basically all the settings we have inside you. Now, to give you a comparison, let me show you something like SEO Press and the amount of options we have inside that plugin. So this is what SEO Press looks like. This is the pro version. So this has the free plugin and the pro plugin installed. So there are more options. But as you can see, just looking on the left-hand side, these are all different sections that all have their own customization options. So this is just the overview section. As you can see, that in itself has a lot of options inside there. But then just jumping over to things like the titles and meta tags, you can see inside here, there are five different sections alone just for that side of things. Go into your HTML sitemap, for example, and again, we have four lots of options inside here. 
you kind of get the picture. There's absolutely nothing wrong with these tools. They are there for a purpose, but not everybody needs this level of complexity when it comes to working with SEO. And the reality is, for most users, they just want the SEO to get out of the way and do what it needs to do in the background without becoming technically all-consuming. So you can very quickly see how something like SEO Press or Rank Math or anything like that could be incredibly overwhelming for those that really don't need all those options. Okay, so that's the settings inside Slim SEO, but where do you actually go about using the SEO options? Well, let's just hop over and take a look at the post section. So we look at all our posts and let's just open up one of these posts. Okay, so this is your typical post. If we scroll right the way down to the bottom, you'll see we have the search engine optimization settings. And this is a really stripped back option. If you've used to coming from things like Yoast SEO or SEO Press or Rank Math, there's a lot more options, but these are the key things that most users actually need to apply to a post or page. You can see there's the meta title, your meta description, your Facebook image, if you don't want to use that fallback image that you can set up inside the settings and the same goes for the Twitter. And the final option you have is to hide from search results. And as the name would suggest, it will allow you to hide this page or post from the search engines. Very useful in lots of different use cases. Now, what happens by default inside Slim SEO is that you have this particular setup, which pulls in the title of the post or page, then puts the little separator and the name of the website itself. Now, in a lot of SEO plugins, you can control the way this looks. However, in Slim SEO, inside the plugin itself, you can't. But if you want to, you can go in and tweak some advanced settings, and I'll show you how to do that a little later on, how that all works. But again, for most users who don't really want to get stuck into the depths and complexities of SEO, this is a perfect option. You can see it gives you a character count, so you can see exactly how many characters are being used in your title, and the same thing goes for your meta description. So you can see you've always got this little reminder of how many characters should be used inside there. Now, Slim SEO works in exactly the same way if you're using normal built-in WordPress pages and posts, or if you have custom posts like I have in this example of jobs. So if we open up this particular job, you can see all those same options are at the bottom, the meta title, description, Facebook image, it Twitter image, and the hide from search results. So wherever you've got the ability to add content, this is in place so you can use it. Now, media plays a massive part in a lot of WordPress websites. And one area you need to focus on is making sure that you have alt tag associated with your image. This is great for SEO, but can be incredibly time consuming if you have to manually add it to every single image that you upload. Thankfully though, Slim SEO can help you as well. So I've just uploaded this chili image. And if we open this up, you can see it's automatically got the alternative text added, red chilies. Now, Slim SEO will take this from one of two places. If a title has been associated with the file that you upload, it'll use that information. If not, it'll use the file name itself. So it's really useful to know that even if you might want to change these to get better alt text associated with the image, at least you have some alt text associated, which is always good for your SEO side of things. You may be asking yourself, but what if I need some more customization options? The good news is that you can still make some tweaks to the settings of various parts of Slim SEO through the use of some settings in your functions file. Yes, this does take a certain level of confidence in using WordPress and may be beyond what you feel comfortable doing. However, if you use a free plugin like Code Snippets, you can make these changes safely and with relative ease by following the information available on the Slim SEO website. So let's take a look at some of those options right now. So to get at this additional information, we just simply need to go to the Slim SEO website, pop into the documentation section, and inside there is a breakdown of all the key sections we have in the free plugin. Obviously, there'll probably be more added to this when the pro version comes out, and we'll talk about the pro in a moment. But at the moment, this is just gonna give you information about how to install it, what all the features do, and so on and so forth, which is useful. If you want just to get a little bit more, a little bit more advanced options in configuring the way that Slim SEO works, you can do that. It's just done in a different way. So for example, if we want to change the structure for the title meta tag, which if you remember, I showed you is simply a case of the name of the post or the page, and then your website tagged on at the end. Well, let's take a look at if we wanted to change that. This tells us how it all works or what we can do. And you can see 
The title tag is being used on your home page as your site title, then your site description. If you single posts and pages, it's going to use the title and then the site title. And for any other pages, it's going to be the page title and the site title. So if you wanted to change that, we can scroll down until we get to how to change the meta title with code. So if you're accustomed to creating and working with code snippets, and you can use a free plugin, Code Snippets plugin, to do this if you want to, you can use this information inside you to customize Slim SEO. So you can see this is adding the filter in to adjust the way that the title actually works. And this gives you a breakdown of how to configure it, how to tweak it. So for more advanced users, they just want to eke a little bit more out of Slim SEO while still gaining the benefit of having a very, very lightweight plugin installed, you have these options inside here. So I would suggest on first use of Slim SEO, just to take a little look through all the different options inside the documentation. It's pretty lightweight and you could probably go through this very, very quickly, but at least it gives you the information you need to understand how the various different parts of the plugin are actually working and if there are options available to expand it should you need to. While Slim SEO is free, there's a pro version in development right now. Is there a timescale for this release? Not that I'm aware of. I think it's a case of when it's done, it's done. But let's take a look at some of the proposed features included in the pro version and if they're going to be features that you can't do without right now. So the pro version is going to be bringing with it currently four extra options, a schema builder, redirection options, link analysis, and local SEO. So if these are things that you need in your SEO plugin, and this is kind of holding you off using something like Slim SEO, these are going to be coming to the pro version or premium version when that releases. When it'll release, I don't know. This has been going for a little while now, so it might be something that takes a little longer, but it's something worth keeping an eye on. And if you want to sign up and gain a 30% discount, you can drop in your name and email and they'll update you as and when this is going to be ready to launch. But like I say, if these are the key features that you need, maybe worth holding off Slim SEO until they're released in the premium version and you get everything you need. While Slim SEO provides a stripped back, lightweight SEO tool that covers the basics and generally just gets out of the way to allow you to focus on the content of the website, it comes in at just under 90 kilobytes. It's positively minuscule in comparison to the likes of Rank Math or Yoast. Now, while it can't compete on the sheer number of features, it more than makes up for in simplicity and lack of overheads. So if you need something that's more comprehensive feature-wise, or you have a very specific set of needs, Slim SEO probably isn't for you. But if you just want to cover the basics and get back to creating content, Slim SEO may be worth taking a look. Now, as always, all the relevant links are in the description below. If you got value from this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. But if you didn't get value, well, feel free to hit the thumbs down button twice, as that works pretty well too. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.